Okay. What? On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a bad gonorrhea and a bong. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. It's I'm Corbin. I may not feel good, but I'll feel better in a minute with that bong. And you follow us on Instagram. Instagram. Also, not to be confused with bong. Yeah, water. there's the bong made of glass with water and you one. smoke your pot out of it. And then there's bong water you drink during holy. Yeah. One. They have the same effects though. <laughs> Don't drink. Don't drink bong, bong water. <laughs> Anyways, oh, uh, you know the intro. Yeah, so you've done it. It's we've, juicy. We've been here before. Yeah, it's dripping. Today we are doing a movie review. <laughs> Yes. Uh, the Hindi film, Oh M My God. Oh my freaking goodness. Uh, OMG, Oh My God. Uh, a, this is a 2002 film directed by Umesh. 2002? Oh, I didn't sorry. realize. Sorry, dyslexia. Uh, oh, 2012. Oh. Okay, I was going to say, wow. I didn't realize it was 18 years old. 2012. Okay. Uh, Uma, uh, Umesh Shuka? Shukla. Uh, uh, he also, I think, wrote part of it and then um, say his name. And Bravish Mandala. Looks like also did yeah. it. Starring Akshay Kumar, yep. uh, Pradesh Rawal, and, uh, and then obviously Om, there's some Omori in there. And then a couple other uh, little characters. Uh, this is going to be a 100% spoiler review. It came out in 2012. I'm assuming you've seen, seen, seen it. That's just how we do it. Just yep. need to let you know. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Come back. Unless you like to be spoiled. You naughty. Because we're going to naughty people. We're going to do that. Uh, but, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Very important. Hmm. Spoiled. I don't remember. 2002? Two, 2012. Okay. It's not Space Odyssey. I have no one. idea. I don't know. But, yes, 100% uh, spoiler review. Uh, Kumar. No idea. Okay. No idea. I was... <laughs> I had some, and it's gone. Uh, but Rick, your initial thoughts. Hey, this gave me, I've been looking for a way to do like a grading scale for movie reviews mm -hmm. for the longest time. Okay. Like to give things like, I was inspired by World of Dance actually, because they have the, the categories and then they give you the score and then you get a, a, a score because in Johnny and I've been watching World of Dance. So, uh, this didn't score high for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I I, uh, I don't have a paragraph, but I can tell you the score that I gave it based on my 10 categories. Mm -hmm. And I, I rate those categories on a scale of 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. And then that gives me an average grade. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I, I just... Um, it, it, for me, most of the time felt like something if you had... And I don't mean this, this is the best analogy I can give. It's not meant to be an insult. It's meant to be the best way I can describe what I saw and how I felt. Mm -hmm. It was as if a high school film group was given a million dollars to make a film and what they put together based on the writing, the acting, the story, and the, the presentation. I appreciate the truths and things it was trying to convey. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that intention. Mm -hmm. But the delivery system with which it came and some of the problems I had with it in the writing and the, the, the everything else was, was not enough for me to like it. Gotcha. I ended up enjoying it. It's not, here's, a, here's what I'll say about it. Is it a great piece of cinema? No. No, it isn't. And, and, and a scale, on my grade but, scale, I give it a D minus. That's mine. I'll explain how I came up with the D minus. But, uh, yeah, is it a great piece of cinema? No. But also, right when it started, I was like, okay, this is not, a, this is right. not, this is not cinema. Right. Uh, at all. Agreed. Uh, right at the beginning, I knew that. So I was like, oh, because this is a masala film, right? Um, and so, we've seen films like that that I ended up enjoying. And the main reason I ended up enjoying this is the, so you, con the conversation. So you ultimately enjoyed it? Because of the conversation. Okay. There was a ton of issues I had with it. Okay. In terms of like, if I was, if I was being very critical, yes, obviously there's a ton of stuff wrong. I kind of gave it a lot of leeway off the bat because okay. I was like, okay, I can tell what kind of film this is. Right. This is obviously if you come off of watching like, um, very realistic films like a Gangs of Wasseper and we've been watching a lot of those. And so that, that does skew our, uh, but uh, same, a lot of issues, even though I enjoyed PK more. Oh, way more. Some stuff That's I That's my comparison. Yeah, but some stuff I had issues with in that as well. Same thing, like supporting cast, uh, stuff like that, some of the writing. But 
I think the biggest strengths for this was the conversation that it, that it wanted to have, which once again, I think PK did it better. But apparently this has an American adaptation, which I believe you were in the second one of. Not really. That's, I believe some, I believe- Well, I, I it read, is oh, kind of oh like God. a God. Uh, I've never seen, but I believe that's what I read. Like there's like, that's kind of the American-ish version, um, which apparently he, he was in Oh God book two. I was. Little part. No, I, uh, I, had a, I had a small part in it. I have a little monologue I do. I would actually equate it more to like Evan Almighty, Bruce Almighty-ish style. Yeah, no. Than uh, PK. Uh, what? Yeah, no. No, I mean, I'm saying the style. style. I know. That's what I'm talking about. I know. I know. <laughs> You're just being very critical right now. Yep. Uh, which is fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, ultimately I enjoyed the conversation of it because I enjoy it when people pick apart what they're supposed to pick apart. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate it as long as it's done with some semblance of... Uh... <sighs> Here's the problem. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if you stupid babies know this or not about me, but I spent about a decade um, as a licensed minister. I've, I've been to Bible college. I've done a lot of theological studies. And I find example differentiating this versus PK. Similar. Also, we haven't seen PK in over a year and a half. So True. It's very possible we might not like this much. I guarantee. I love PK. I'm sure I would still like it. And here's one of the reasons I like PK and why I comparatively dislike this in terms of the subject matter and questioning things, right? Mm -hmm. So in PK, there is a gracious presenting of hypocrisy. Oh, no, for sure, this one's definitely more heavy handed. This one's more heavy handed, but it's also, in addition to the gracious representation of hypocrisy in PK, that's just, do you not see the contradictions mm -hmm. with, a, with a basis of, isn't it just common sense that there's this doesn't make sense <laughs> mm -hmm. versus these hard and fast definitive uh th this is the way it's going to be when it definitively is not for example you you cannot if you have any capacity not even at a scholarly level but if you understand textual criticism from the writings of antiquity and scriptures themselves whether you're comparing the quran to the text of of hinduism which there's <sighs> countless ones of them, to the 66 books of the Protestant Bible, to the additional apocryphal writings of the, the Catholic Church, and the pseudepigrapha, you do not have all roads lead to Rome. They don't all lead, you, you don't have pluralism in world religions, and there's 4,000 planetary religions, let alone the five major religions. So this just painting of the brush that every belief system is, is going to give you the truth that you need, those belief systems themselves disallow that. Mm -hmm. And I have a hard time with that kind of, can't we all get along, trying to oversimplify things that the texts themselves and the belief systems themselves definitively disallow. PK didn't try to get into that territory. That's what I said, this one was definitely more heavy handed. For and sure. not as scholarly aware. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I, I enjoyed the writing of PK a lot more. I, yeah. I had similar problems in terms of film, uh, in terms of like supporting cast and some of the, some of the cheesy writing yeah. and stuff like that. Sure. In, in that way. But, um, yeah, I, obviously I had questions with what it said, but I kind of, once again, I wasn't holding this at a very high regard in terms of, yeah, listen to this. I don't think anybody's supposed to take this film very seriously. My interpretation of it was that they were just trying to, especially with Hinduism, obviously that was the main religion they were focusing on because India is probably the biggest religion. It was one that was the, they, they, I think they said the Christian guy like once. <laughs> they, they called on him basically once. And but yeah. he, he quoted, he quoted yes, but he, once the again, Bible, he quoted the Quran, he, he quoted the yep, Hindu text. They were focusing a little more on the, the Hindu text Correct. Than, the, than the other ones. And yes. I had questions about it, but I think the, the overall thing of it they wanted to say was, um, especially with um, Hinduism, uh, at least from what I can tell, was, you know, focus more on, you know, helping others and, and your relationship with whatever God you're talking about, mm -hmm. as opposed to their overall uh, I guess, idea that they all lead to one. I understand that they said that, 
and you can take offense to that if you want, but I, I kind of just brush that off, really. Yeah, the, yeah I, 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 we can have a philosophical debate on whether that's true or not, obviously, yeah. but that's kind of just how I took it, because I was like, yeah, that, obviously that's not really the case, but I kind of took something different from it, which, which is one of the things I appreciated. I always appreciate a film, especially talking, which we don't have a lot here, um, because I, I don't know, really know why. Evan Almighty and Bruce Almighty are the only two I can really think of. Uh, at least in recent history, mm. that directly go out to religion. And it's always Christianity. It's always Christianity. Yeah. Um, because that's obviously the biggest religion. Well, yeah, the ones that are most recent, and those are comedies, one of the best. If you haven't seen this film, a really, really good film with Robert Duvall as the Apostle. Did you see that? It was a small film that Duvall did, and he was nominated for it. And it is, I don't think I saw that one. Then, it yeah. is really good. And you know what's another one that touches on it? It's not the primary subject matter, but there will be blood is pretty strong. Yeah, yeah that one with that. But it is for the majority of it because so much of what's gone on in America yeah, but, yeah, is, those, is Christianity. Those you couldn't obviously compare to this because those were those no, were no, to no, be cinema, cinema. No, genre wise, you're right yeah. to compare it to Evan Almighty, Evan Almighty, Bruce Almighty. Bruce Almighty. Yeah. Obviously, those are, uh, I think, in terms of overall film, a better film. Uh, just because I have a lot of issues with. Small supporting characters, some yes. of the some of the cheesy overall writing. Although, I did appreciate the main guy for the most, especially when he got in the courtroom. It's except for some once again cheesy writing. I thought he did a good job. I would like to see more from him. He thinks actually seems like an actor um, that I probably did theater of, at, at one point, um, and then definitely on Bordy. Yeah, um, uh, we definitely need it. Right when he came on, I was like, he seems like he's in a different class in this. He is. <laughs> It was. It was very clear <laughs> who was the thespian in this in this yeah. film. So like he showed up. And he was, was the thespian. It's like when you see Nasseruddin Shah in in Deborah. Yeah. He was like, oh, he sticks out like a sore thumb. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah. Um, so, please let me know. I know we've seen a few things. I think he was in uh, McBool, I believe, with with, with Nasseruddin, right? It was McBool where him and Nasseruddin were the yeah 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 those they guys, were, yes, which obviously was great. Yes. But I would like to. I know he's a legend. And we need to, yeah. just like Nasseruddin, we need to focus we need on to, we have a lot. We know, we know we have a lot. More. Uh, but yeah, that's a little side note. Yeah, I thought yeah, yeah. Akshay was Akshay. Akshay uh, was Akshay. Akshay was Akshay. That's what I, I expected. Um, and I mean, sincerely, he didn't have a lot to work with. No. <laughs> he really, for the majority of the time, he was just standing. And there. I'm sure a bunch of stuff went over our head because he was playing uh, Krishna. Right. So a lot, guarantee. A lot of the little thing. We actually looked up, because um, my wife watched it with me, this little thing. Apparently, Krishna has something yeah. he's always spinning. I knew, I knew that um, wasn't just a random throwaway yeah. thing. I was like, like, there had to be a reason behind it. And so it. there's probably a bunch of those little things Correct. that were that were totally over our head. Correct. We're not, I mean, even though, I'm actually glad we saw this now as opposed to way before because we were familiar oh. with the sport at the beginning and what yeah. they were doing. Prabhu just I know. Up. Okay, yeah, let's talk. <laughs> That I, but I will mention that was pretty great. I At did the beginning, I'm like, oh, cool, Plum like, was here. He's in this? And then, yeah. no, the rest of it, they got that one musical One number. moment <laughs> that was really worth the price of admission for me. That was probably my favorite moment of the film. Yeah. It was Prabhu's dance yeah, number. So that was fun. Um, and, yeah, if, if I had seen this, if I remember right when we saw PK, yeah. this was coming in, C-O-M-G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, um, very similar genre. I'm glad we did. Yeah. Because if I had seen this we definitely then. definitely aired it, and it would... I would I would have compared it, but mm -hmm. also like as much as I I didn't like this movie, I don't I'm not upset with this movie. I'm not like angry with this yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. And anybody who says they like it, it's like okay, you can have your taste on that. For me, I just that I just don't want to. Yeah, I have a lot of other things I'd rather do. Mm -hmm. Go <laughs> float your boat, go right ahead. I'd I'd rather be watching a lot of other stuff. Uh, and it does my grading for it. I'm, I'm really I'm really happy about my little grading scale. Um, uh, <laughs> Stupid. No, it's great. You want to know it here? Do you want to know it? Yeah, it's, go, it's, there's, right. it's ten categories okay. based on the categories that are customarily the primary categories that we award at the Academy Awards. Mm -hmm. So it's ten categories, and you rate them on a scale of one to ten. Okay. Story slash screenplay. I know they can be different, but I put them into the same category for that. Okay. Right. So story and screenplay, direction, cinematography, acting, just across the board, costumes and makeup, visual effects, sound design, score, production design, editing. And you huh. give them a scale of 1 to 10, and my scale, <laughs> you're like my scale. If it's a 10, it's flawless. Gotcha. 9, nearly perfect. 8, solid. 7, average. 6, below average. 5, bad. Once you get below 5, then it's just fun ripping on the score. 
because if it's more than bad, number four is unacceptable slash lazy. Three is unwatchable slash they don't care. Two is insulting slash they're mocking the art. Number one is an abomination, stop making film. <laughs> but I'm rarely ever gonna go below five. So based on that scale, yeah. this for me got a D minus because the majority of my scores were basically sixes and sevens of average and below average. I didn't give anything higher than a seven Gotcha. Uh, for this. So for me, it, I give it a rate as far as cinema, but yeah. I, I can understand. Yeah, I get it. Like I said, I... Why somebody might give it a higher score just for their own personal preference. I don't get it. I really don't understand. But for me, like the reason I just enjoyed it is I enjoyed the conversation. I, uh, yeah, I had a hard time with the music. I'm always good with, regardless of if I agree with the conversation, not questioning of stuff, especially religion, because I have lots of problems with big religion. And I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. As long as the questions have some semblance of, so for example, if you were to hear me start talking as if I knew about soccer, mm -hmm. how would that make you feel knowing what you know I know about soccer? And I started talking like I was an expert. Well, how would, they, how would you feel about that? I don't know if that's a fair comparison. I don't know that this was talking like it was an expert. It was trying to. No, it, oh, wouldn't, be yeah. a, it wouldn't be a comedy if it, if it was doing that. Sure. Just like Evan Almighty is not, they're not doing this philosophical thing. They're just making you laugh at certain things. No, but here's the difference for me for like PK and OMG. PK presented it as, is God? With a question mark. Mm -hmm. This presented it as God is. He straight up says at one point, Akshay says, uh, I wrote it down. He straight up says to him, a God is sentence. God is incomplete without his devotee. Well, like I said, I might have been going more off of Hinduism. And so if you're looking at it from, a, which obviously you would, from a Christian's perspective, I understand. Well, but, not just even a Christian perspective. From a, 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 a belief system, uh, text from antiquity, proper exegetical, uh, looking at texts and making, like I said at the outset, when you make a broad stroke and say that all belief systems take you to truth, that's categorically false. So for you to have a conversation about it, I'm looking at you, hearing you talk about things as if you're being an authority, because actually it's God, mm -hmm. saying all religious beliefs lead you to truth. Mm -hmm. I can't take that conversation seriously okay. because it's just not, they don't. They, they, they are categorically, some of them are antagonistically against the other belief systems and say it's our way or the highway. I understand. Okay. <laughs> That's why I can't I'm listen to conversation. I just didn't. <laughs> it just didn't bother me because right. I, I, I'll, I will always allow a film to tell whatever it wants to tell, and I'm not going to say I agree with it. Obviously, I don't agree with a lot of people uh, on most really? things. Yeah, uh, I'm a very opinionated person, <laughs> um, but I will always allow the film to tell whatever story it wants, and I'll be like, okay, that was that was your story. Do I think it's strange? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh yeah, like I don't, yeah. I don't have a bone to pick with it in any way in terms of like feeling it's propagating some false agenda that it needs to be stopped or something ridiculous yeah, like you that. Yeah, it a D minus. That was for the technical for aspects devil. of it. That's he heard my subjective undercurrent. <laughs> it was, and it wasn't just devilish. It was negatively devilish. Well, no. Anyways, I just, I just didn't like it. That's fine. Sorry, guys. Uh, let us know what you thought of it. Let us know why we're a bunch of morons. I'm sure you will. Yep. Down below, as you yep. always do. Yeah. Uh, Especially me. Threaten to unsubscribe so I can block you. Or at yeah. least talk about how stupid and opinionated I am. But also, this was a the uh, Hindi suggestion from Patreon this month. Mm -hmm. they, and Court was the regional one. Did you know that if you were on Patreon, you can actually any, do that? Any tier from dollar and up, uh, you can... It's a collective thing. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's it doesn't not, mean what you suggest. Yeah, when you get in. Clarify. Yeah, because uh, a lot of people were very upset that this got picked. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> but you do get the option. We we uh, I do a post do a at poll. the beginning poll. of every month. You poll. and people get to put what they want, and right. people upvote it. I right. take the four most upvoted ones. So uh, obviously, if there's about six hundred patrons, so uh, the a lot of and I separate it via Hindi and regional as well, because they got upset because they said Hindi will always win, Right. so I had to do No, we, we would do two, that's why we do two. Um, and as the, those also, aren't the only movie reviews we yeah, do. Yeah, we obviously, obviously just do more than two films every month. Yeah. But you get that option. But, so if you'd like that, 
head to our Patreon, links in the description below. Let us know what film we should watch next. Also, let us know Om Puri yeah. and Nesarin Shah recommendations down below.